Hi guys, I just find out I don't need to remember the script. I can just read. So, a few weeks ago, I posted a video on YouTube showing Legion's journey from concept to reality. And I think you guys liked the video. So, thank you for that. But, various questions came along from my fellow engineers asking about the engineering behind the Legion Mark II. Questions like, how does the control interface work? What software I'm using? Uh, hint, none. What's the budget? How does the circuit and code flow work? So in this video, I'll be trying to answering them all. So if you are serious about robotics and want to build Legion yourself, this video is for you. So let's dive in. See, I don't need to remember the script. They don't mind. Let's go guys. Let's start by the user experience. When you power it on, Legion will create its own Wi-Fi network. Just connect any device, open your browser, and you have to type in the local IP address, which is this. And boom, you've got access to its control interface. Once you're in, the screen is divided into two sections. Top part, which is live camera feed, so you can see exactly what Legion is seeing. Bottom part, the control panel. In start, Legion starts in crawling mode, just like an insect. You can use the on-screen button to move forward, backward, left, right. Using these modes button, you can switch the Legion from walk mode to drive mode and vice versa. Once it's in a drive mode, it's move like a car, cruising forward, backward and turning smoothly. Want to adjust its height so that it can go over obstacle? No problem. You can adjust Legion's height by using these buttons and the best part is, it automatically adapts its step length and movements dynamically. On the left hand side, you'll see XYZ data. It was just for me to debug the kinematics code, but uh, I didn't remove it. So if you are curious, feel free to experiment. And if anything goes haywire, just hit the reset button and it will bring Legion back to its default state. And finally, the most fun part, speed control. You can adjust Legion leg speed so that it can crawl fast, just like a spider chasing my Indian friend in Australia. Or it can be crawled slower to get uh, easily paced on an obstacle. You can also control the movement speed to roll it faster or slower. Using these features, Legion have faster response than other robots. It can go up on a slope, it can pass obstacles and stairs half of its own size. We took Legion outside too, to see how it will find itself in the real world. Legion was working good trying to find the meaning of its life. He was happy. Now let's talk about the developer experience. First thing first, what do you need and how much will it cost? So I've put together a detailed component list in the document session of my GitHub. This file includes all the required component, their prices, how many you're gonna need and Amazon links. Now, if you go the Amazon route, the total cost is around 8,000. But here's a tip. I buy most of my component from the local electronics shop and manage to build the Legion for just 4,000 rupees, literally half of it. Now for Indians, Delhi people, the market is Lajpatrai market. So, you have two options, buy everything online for convenience or hunt down part locally, negotiate and save big. Now let's come to the 3D printing. If you own a 3D printer or you have 3D printing access, great. You can download the STL file from my GitHub and print them to yourself. If you don't have access to a 3D printer, you can try online 3D printing, but they sure are expensive. So I've put an Amazon link for this basic Legion chassis, but there is no wheel mount or the head cover so you have to do some jugaad to attach the wheels and the head now let's break down how legion works at hardware level basically i'm using arduino nano which will handle all the kinematics and movement control i'm using 12 servo which will act like limb muscle for crawling i'm using four dc geared motor with wheels which will act like wheel muscle but both of them are just actuator they need some interface to communicate with Arduino Nano. So servo motor will be controlled by 16 channel PWM servo driver and DC motor will be controlled by L298N motor driver. How both of these driver will be controlled? Servo driver will be controlled by Arduino Nano using I2C protocol and motor driver will be controlled by Arduino Nano using PWM and digital signals. Now this system is perfect to control the movement of the robot. But how user will control the system? There is no Wi-Fi in Arduino Nano. So I'm gonna use another microcontroller, which is ESP32 CAM, which will give me Wi-Fi, also live video feed. Now ESP32 CAM and Arduino Nano will be communicate with each other using serial communication. Always remember kids, in relationship, communication is the key. 
sorry in robotics communication is the key now let's talk about power so i'm going to use 12 volt 1 ampere dc supply because my dc geared motor needs 12 volt so i'm going to give it directly to the motor driver but arduino nano esp32 cam and servos needs 5 volt so i'm going to use this 5 volt 3 ampere ubex switch because if esp32 cam does not get 3 ampere it will not generate the wi-fi and the image will be lagging let's be real here Everyone knows that engineer only wants one thing, a working complete circuit diagram. And guess what? You'll find it in my GitHub repository. You can use it as a reference. Now let's talk about software or code flow. It all start from HTML button. Clicking the HTML button triggers an internal JavaScript function. Internal JavaScript function will do some calculation if needed and call the JavaScript WebSocket function. Now JavaScript WebSocket function will call the C++ WebSocket function on ESP32 CAM. Then ESP32 CAM will call its serial function to send the command. Arduino Nano serial function will receive that command and send it to kinematics code. That's how it's happened. Trust me guys. Are you sure about that? Let me just show you the code. The project consists of two main programs, ESP32 CAM code and Arduino Nano code. If you open the ESP32 CAM code, you'll notice something interesting. In line 132 to line 567 contains an entire HTML page. Yep, embedded right inside the code. This is where the button, stream handler and command handler are set up. Instead of using on click, I use on mouse down and on touch start function because on click only sends a command per click but on mouse down the command keeps sending as long as the button is pressed just like a real rc remote now if you move down to the c++ code there is two things you need to know a stream handler which manages the live video feed and the cmd handler which will pass the websocket command and forward them to arduino nano the serial print is sending the command to arduino nano in the arduino nano code there is a function called serial event function Basically, the function listening the incoming command from ESP32 CAM, it passes the command into a readable action just like forward, left, stop. Calling the gate function, in gate function, it will call the corresponding kinematic function. The logic, the match, everything behind the kinematics is written in legion.cpp file. So you need to understand this file to understand the kinematics and control behind the robot. So that was about engineering behind the Legion Mark II. I am thinking about making the Legion Mark III and I am thinking to integrate Raspberry Pi, uh, AI, ML. And you know what I am thinking? I am thinking...